Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, your birthday is uh, next week. Do you want God to celebrate this birthday? God is celebrating the birthday already. The month of June, you have to revive her. One in UK and one meeting in Nazareth. What else again do you want? Hmm? Meet TB Joshua in Nazareth, Israel. Sunday to Monday, June 23rd through 24th, 2019, at the Amphitheater of Mount Precipice, and experience the footprints of Jesus of Nazareth. I can't wait to see you. Nazareth Meeting with T.B. Joshua. Register now at Emmanuel.tv slash Nazareth. I think... Uh... If you really love your pastor so much, I think you should dedicate that June 12. Take your time to meet the sick. There are many of your neighbors that are on the sea bed. When you go to some hospital, you see many of them. For many years, they have been on the sea bed. Meet them. Is it time to have friends? You have so many friends, but you have not have enough. You are not even have any of your friends on the sea bed. You don't have them. A friend that you can wake up in the morning, you give a phone call. Hello, how are you? How are you doing now? What do you want me to bring to the hospital? What do you want me to bring for you? Let me pray with you. Your children too, that will be duty for your family. When you cannot go, your wife will go. You have to dedicate that day. June 12, to have friends who have been bedridden for many years. Look for them. Find them. They are everywhere. Not only just needy that you can find a home, or widow you can find a home. There are many of them you cannot find a home. They are in the hospital where they have been treated. Many of them will be there permanently. That has been their home. So you should have their number. Wake up in the morning, hello, how are you doing? I just want to know how you are doing there. Is there anything you want me to bring for you? Many of them, their parents have abandoned them for many years. They have abandoned them, and they will never have their, their parents, their, their family anymore. Be their family. The huge meeting in Nazareth. This is just our preparation, our hearts. So please, over to you. It's a big opportunity for you to go out there, look for those who are on the seabed, who have been bedridden for many years. If they don't have answer, you can get one for them and give them a phone call. Send your children, let your children know you with that habit. That is will, so that they can continue when you are no longer live. I still remember the habit I took from my mom in those days when I was in school, primary school. Anytime I'm coming back from school, I have to meet my mommy somewhere where she's praying. In the farm, in the wilderness, in the mountain, I have to go there with school uniform. Meeting my mommy sitting down, mommy will bring food from home, keeping that food waiting for me. I got used to that. That prayer is a key, is a master key. So your children too, it is time now to give them a, a divine legacy. Thereby your children can be looking for those who need their help. There are many, many, many all over the world. Look for them. This is the, this is opportunity for you. Over to you. Thank you. I hope somebody can relate what I've just said now. What he just said, June 12th, look for someone who is bedridden, who is unable to help themselves. 
and show them that love, affection, and make them feel like someone. Not only just look for them, be their friend. Be their friend as well. Build that relationship. Yes. Get them answered. If phone call, a number, you can get them, calling them, send your children from time to time. Let them get used to that lifestyle. If you are no longer live, they'll continue. They'll continue. But this celebration, I already started it. As I'm speaking now, uh, in my house, there are 60 widows now present celebrating, and they are giving them cash gift offering now, Thank present. Thank you very much. For you now to do better, look for those who are sick, those who are in the home, on the sea bed. We have many of them everywhere, hospital. Yes. And at least you must have five to ten of them yes. as a friend and have their number. From time to time you can call them, hello, how are you? How's your bone? I hope you are okay now. If at the end of the day, any one of them die, you'll be the one to, to do the barrier. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I have a friend who got an accident. So before coming here, I wanted to go and visit her. I kept on postponing. But what I've learned is that um, whenever you have something to celebrate about the life God has given us, you have to value the life of those who are down. So that's the lesson that we are, I'm learning out of this. Thank you very much. Thank you. What our senior prophet just told us, what I learned is that we should go to the sick, the, to the hospitals to find out those who are on the sick bed. And uh, we are not going there just alone, just to showcase ourselves for a period of time. But this one is going to be like a ministry which we have received whenever the birthday of our senior pastor is coming up. We take our children along so that they can see what we the parent does while we are still alive. Even when we are far gone, they will remember what we, the parents, what they saw us doing so that they can continue in that full steps. Love for him. Thank you. Thank you. So, any other? I have a friend who is in the hospital, hospitalized for a year plus now. How did you get to know her? She's a friend. She's my colleague. Ah, that is, that is a... Uh... Hand to hand. She's my, she's thank my you, colleague. Thank you, thank you, thank she you. She has been in the hospital. So you have to long. look for those whom you don't know. Okay. Okay, not that you will not help those whom you know. I think we have a, a class for this. Thank you, thank you very much. As a matter of fact, what the man of God is saying is that we should occupy ourselves in the art of helping, irrespective of who the person is, irrespective of their religion or wherever their calling is. Thank you. I think that's how I see this moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, take note, not just one woman, it should have hundreds. Hundreds in the sense that their case will not be coming, seems to be a body, but it's not a body. You need something to pinch you, to punch you, to disturb you. You say, ah. I would like it. I have only 100,000 naira, and uh, I need 200,000 naira to pay their hospital bill, their feeding. You need a situation like that. So you need something that will be bothering you for the glory of God. What is bothering you now, they are, they are not for the glory of God. Tell your neighbor, you need something to be bothering you for the glory of God. What is bothering you now I'm not for the glory of God. Something for the glory of God must bother you for you to live above human destruction. You will receive a phone call. This phone call is someone who has been on the sick bed for many years, who is one of your friends. He needs your help, but you don't have for now. Ah, you pick it up and say, so, so I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will try, I will try. Another phone call again. But the people calling you, they are not things that bothering you for the glory of God. They are things that for your selfish reason, for your classic reason, for material reasons. I mean, the people you are helping, they are your people. They are your people. Very selective help. For the glory of God means what they are asking for is not enough. You don't have enough. But this is for God. You need it. For you to live above human destruction, you need to be 
wondering for the glory of God. So how many of them you have their number? How many of friends you have their number? The people you have their number, the people that are fit, are your relative, are your friend, are your family friend, are the people that run to you? These people cannot run to you. They are somewhere, somewhere else. You have to go to them and God has to give you the heart to meet them. You need to live about human destruction. You are facing a lot of threat. Your nightmare, they treat you in the dream, poison you in the dream, you fly in the dream, you eat in the dream. These are the threats you are having. There's no peace. You don't have peace. How many of you are here today praying, Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me. I want to help this, this man. Bless me, bless me. I want to help that woman. How many of you offer such prayer? So that is bothering you for the glory of God. When you are praying, you'll be praying that, ha, ah, I need this thing to help this person, to help that person. But what prayer are you offering this morning? This is our birthday. That June 12th is to rededicate yourself to the art of giving. And this giving we are talking about should not be selective. You know those who need you most. You know those who need you better. You know those who need you best. So try to reach these people. They are on the seabed. They are in a the home. They have abandoned them. You go to some orphanage home. You see many children there. They need help. Give them your number, a special number when they call. Don't waste time. Pick it. Let them disturb you. When they call in the night, you pick it and say, Hello, what happened? Eh, I have that pain. There's no money to eat. Okay, I'm coming tomorrow. You wake your son. Harry, Harry, Harry. You listen to that? Tomorrow morning, take this 50,000 naira. Meet our friend. Give it to him. Hug him. Your son will, will, will be used to this habit. It's a good habit. It's a good habit. You are reshaping your destiny when you are doing that. Your last day, let your children, let them stand to tell the whole world that Oh, this is what my father used to do. He used to send me to this place. We have almost 300 people on the sea bear. I'm the one taking them money, giving them money. God help me to continue this. Even your will, by the time they were talking of your will, those part of your will will be weak to these people. This is the life. So, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, and... Uh, you know, the Bible says, if you truly believe in your heart, truly believe in your heart, your behavior will reflect your faith. So I want to see if God's words are true for your life. Let us see your, your excitement. <laughs> yes, before I pray with you, let's open the book of John 14. 14 verse 15, Jesus promised the Holy Spirit, if you love me, keep my word. I can hear you. If you love me, keep my word. And I will ask the Father, and he will do what? He will give you what? We don't want to go too far. What we are trying to say here, if you love me, Keep my commandment. Hallelujah. That is, if you love me, keep my commandment. Hallelujah. If you love me, what does it mean of Me, If you love me, you will keep my word, my commandment. How do we keep God's commandment? How do we love God? By doing what God wants. By doing what God wants. We do what? We demonstrate our love. Take, if you love, the word love. We demonstrate our love to him. Tell your neighbor, by doing what God wants. We demonstrate our love to him. 
Say it again. Say your neighbor again. I can hear you. But they must say, I love to him. That is the word love. You say, I love God. That is why I come to church. But the same God say, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not destroy. Not with mere words, but with action and in truth. Now you say you love God. Over to you. It is your turn now to obey. Doing what God wants. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Again. That is the only way you can demonstrate your love. So this is a step now. It is command. It is our responsibility. It is obligation. You must, if you love him, keep his commandment. Love is life. If you are not love, you miss life. Life is love. Love is life. You are a human being, not because you have ability to think, but because you have ability to love. Love your neighbor as yourself. So, and I know God will bless you with this word. Hallelujah. Amen. Rise up for prayer. Tell your neighbor, I'm a human being. Amen. Not because I have ability to think, but ability to love. To love, ability to love. If no one loves you, you cannot come here today. If you are deserted by everyone, you will not be here today. Because there is no way you could come here. The little love given to you actually lead to your coming here. The love you give away is the only love you keep. Tell your neighbor. Open your heart, open your heart. Ouvrez votre cœur. Abre tu corazón, abre tu corazón. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. I can see God's deliverance touching you. God 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 deliverance touching you. Open your lips, open your lips, begin to cast it in your blood. Cast it in your blood. Cast it in your blood. Cast it in your bone, in your kidney, in your liver. Whatever that are not of God, whatever affliction in your bone, in your blood, begin to cast it, cast it, cast it, cast it. Be cursed in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Abre tus labios y comienza a condenar toda enfermedad, toda aflicción en tu sistema en el nombre de Jesús. Comienza a maudir toda aflicción se trouve dans votre système, dans vos os, dans vos tendons, dans votre sang. Because, because, because. In your blood, affliction, because you disease, you affliction, you disease, you sickness, disease. I command you to leave that bone, to leave that blood, to leave that bone, that kidney, that liver. Te ordeno abandonar ese riñón, ese hígado, esos huesos en el nombre de Jesús. Afección de los sang, en los ojos, yo te ordeno de quitar el cuerpo en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. En el nombre de Jesús Cristo. En el nombre de Jesús Cristo. You can know if you are touched. God will say you can know. You can know if you are here. God will say you can know. You can know if you are delivered. God's word says you can know. Right now, begin to give thanks to God and shake yourself. Over yourself with the blood of Jesus. 
Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. See your blessing with the blood of Jesus. See your deliverance with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, begin to count your blessing. Count your blessing. One by one. Give thanks to God, give thanks to God. For his faithfulness, give thanks to him. Give thanks to him. In Jesus Christ's name. Right now, stretch your hand, touch your business, touch your career. My career, it is a new dawn. My business, it is a new dawn. My marriage, it is a new dawn. I can hear you. Pray for your nation. Pray for your nation. Wherever there is unrest, calmness, calmness, in Jesus Christ's name. Pray for your leader. Pray for your leader. With God, all things are possible. Right now, pray for your righteous journey. Righteous journey, you want to be God's channel. I want to be God's channel. Channel of light, where there's darkness. Channel of love, where there's hatred. Channel of humility, where there's pride. Channel of faithfulness, where there's unfaithfulness. Channel of obedience, where there's disobedience. Use me, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I can hear you. Rejoice. Rejoice.